First off, sorry for the speed paint being weird and glitchy in advance. Uh, Procreate is really just dropping the ball for me right now. Like it dumped a whole recording that I had and only saved the last six strokes of it. I'm really lucky that it didn't completely obliterate this one. Anyways, I'm going to tell you about something that happened to me like three days ago. So I was out to dinner with my friends at this really fancy restaurant that we had to drive like 45 whole minutes to get to but it's my friend's birthday so fuck it we'll go the extra mile just for her plus the place is absolutely gorgeous so like why not so we get there and we check our reservations that mind you another one of my friends had made a week in advance we ended up waiting i kid you not half an hour for our table to get set up i'd be fine you know cool with it if it weren't for two reasons first off there was this couple that came in later didn't catch the whole combo but i know they didn't have reservations so they had to wait no biggie but then their whole party comes up to the front and there's like six people for them and there's already five of us and there's not a lot of space to begin with. So we felt like assholes just sitting there waiting for our table. Now we're basically shoulder to shoulder with these guys. Then a huge table clears and the sun comes out of the clouds and we're like, oh, finally we're next. We don't have to stand anymore. Nope. People before us get to sit there because apparently the lady that was behind us the whole time was talking to a couple to get them out so they could clear the table and set up ours. But Carolyn, you say, that's not a big deal. Listen to this. The lady came over to get them out before the guys even came in and talked to them for like 20 minutes. There was a point where they were talking where I just thought to myself, I'm going to die here. I'm going to die in this restaurant. I'm dressed gorgeously, which is fine, you know, nice setting, but I'm going to die waiting for our table. So we finally get our table. We get set up. I order this sexy looking steak and I'm like, oh yeah, baby, it's my time. And everyone ended up kind of jealous of me because my food was genuinely the best food I'd ever eaten in my life. Like that shit knocked my socks off. So I saw the first chunk of my steak and it's a little big, whatever, no big deal, it's tasty and it's literally the first bite of my meal. But then I tried to swallow it and I can't. Like I kept gulping and nothing happened and then I couldn't breathe either. So you know, drama queen that I am, I just dropped my utensils onto the plate and just started tapping really quickly on the table and pointed at my throat and everyone was super confused at what I was doing because I forgot the universal signal for choking. And I just stared down at the table and thought to myself, oh my god, I really am going to die at this restaurant. And then I was oddly cool with it because choking death on a steak dinner while dressed really, really nice at a gorgeous restaurant, very on brand, very up there on ways to die. Then I realized I felt bad because the restaurant might lose all of its business because I died there. And it was during this thought that I realized my friend was just violently whacking me in the back. And the steak didn't like pop out of my throat or anything and land on my plate. No, it just went down perfectly fine. Like nothing happened. Like it was totally cool. And we laughed it off whole night later. But like, damn, I really could have died.